Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Well, we are at Fulton Street Market Festival Extravaganza something. Yes. And both kids are asleep. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look at some art. Um, this is happens two weekends a year. It's oh, been really? yeah, it's been gone for three years. Mm-hmm. We've never been. It's way bigger than like a typical like street festival. Like and we're next time. to West like Fulton District, so we might yeah. go walk down some cafes and join some stuff. So let's do a Sunday in Chicago. Kids in the stroller snoozing. We're on a little date. Yeah, you ready to go look at some art, some snacks, maybe a pottery or something? I did not realize it was gonna be like this. It's a very artsy. Right, I was thinking it was like gonna be like stuff. a bigger street festival than what we're used to, but not like that this is street. like a parking lot. It's yeah. really big. So this building is the Plumbers Union in Chicago. So this is a, a fun mural. My fountain. This really is like a big what? thrift store. <laughs> you what? I'm oh, I got some. God something. It's really not like a normal festival at all. It's like basically everyone is selling vintage stuff. It's really awesome. <laughs> Somebody woke up very happy. I'm trying to debate, there's only like three or four food options here, but we're also really close to uh, Fulton Market. And so we're trying to figure out if we're gonna walk down Rud uh, Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> I called the street Rudolph. <laughs> um, I, I can't decide, you decide. I think we need to grab something quick so you don't get hangry and then walk down the street. Okay, the shortest line is this pancake shop. Well, let's do it. Alrighty, we got a waffle to just tide us over. It has lemon curd on it and blueberries and powdered sugar. We're gonna search for some shade. Oh wow. There's a little tang to it, yeah. Lemon curd. Let's see. Fulton District's got a lot of good food and cafes, so I'm excited to go look at other food too. Oh gosh. While Sarah's eating that, I'm gonna pull the shirt out that we found. Okay, so not the best to come at the peak sun and not the best to come with a double wide stroller especially going in there it was very hard to maneuver so that was a little anxiety ridden still a good time so i would th say that i wish we found more right yeah just this last stretch yeah. but today was a win for these yes and a win for this shirt you're about to see okay look at this classic disney store denim embroidered mickey mini with disney buttons 30 bucks we got this for 30 bucks she's gonna wear that the rest of your life there was actually a couple so other. Yeah, very nice. It's been taken care of. It's been loved. Um, there was a couple other Disney hoodies and sweatshirts, but we passed. We passed. We tried to have some self-control. Sarah had it. We could not. I, I wanted to buy them all. So thank you, Sarah. <laughs> but this, win. Walking on Randolph, which is what I was calling Rudolph. Next to like uh, McDonald's, headquarters but there's this place called eat me milk me and look at this it's got merch street food I'm coffee like, and i'm like i'm hungry let's just stop and then I'm like i know that there's other stuff but so one, are we gonna keep on being like well that's the thing is like i could see why don't we get like since we got one order of the waffles do you want to get one of these buns like 
that Korean spicy beef bun, the signature pork belly bun, and just get one and split it and then like try to find something else down there like a cafe or something, get okay. something else to split. Those drinks do look good. We just got a little pastry for now from here. All right, super cool place, yeah. but they were busy. Yeah, so it was gonna be like 15, 20 minutes just for the one sandwich, which like is understandable, but right. just not fitting for a day. Right, we're going on now, low and slow, kind of just perusing, grabbing stuff, but James, you woke up and they're out of croissants, but we got this, it's called like a Kang Angman, which is basically just like a dense uh, croissant covered in melted sugar. So delicious for Sarah and Jamesy. Look at the inside. There's McDonald's headquarters. Hamburger University. Hamburger University. <laughs> I also think they have like an extended menu here that they try stuff out at. So we came into an actual La Colombe cafe. It's a nice, cool indoor place to nurse Teddy. And then Jamesy got this. Muffin. This place is very, very cool. So it's La Colombe, Randolph, and Morgan. We get, I get the draft oat milk draft lattes all the time at stores, but this is gonna be amazing. I never had it fresh. So they describe this as like a cold brew based cherry punch. So I got that for Sarah. We'll see how that goes. And I've never had an oat milk latte draft like made in person. And they got still in, in sparkling water. Nice. We're just walking down streets. We were gonna go to that grocery right there for a sandwich. They had all kinds of nice meats, but it's closed. And I think right here is Green Street. Oh, you've seen this on Instagram, this alleyway? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a garbage truck in the way, but I think we can get to it on the other side. That was, uh, La Colombe was one of those not stressful, but very stressful moments in life. We are like, oh, we're gonna sit down, Sarah's gonna nurse. Teddy woke up, he's angry, he's a little hungry, a little uncomfortable. James wakes up, he's gonna want food. And then we sit down, Sarah attempts to nurse, and Teddy just wasn't feeling sitting, he was having gas pains. And then the stroller um, wasn't, we made it work in La Colombe, but it wasn't easy. And then James is like munching away, all content, but then having to do a little song and dance with Teddy. But now everybody's content. So we got Trivoli Tavern and Green Street Smoked Meats. This is what we're gonna go check out. This is Sarah wanted savory, and it smells like savory in the air. Green Street Smoked Meats. Sarah's gonna go in because the stroller does not fit. And I'm gonna try to find somewhere to sit for all of us. And I think this is not open, but this, I didn't even know this existed. Trivoli Tavern, Chicago. Look at that. Woo! That looks good. I'm not sure what that is, but that looks open and delicious. I assume this is what Europe feels like. Look at these vibes. It's fun vibes. Sarah said the line's almost to the front of the building, but I think it'll be worth it. This is just very, very cool. I want to come back and do this place for dinner sometime. It outdoor seating, nighttime with it all lit. Probably easy for the kids. Oh, so I snagged a spot in the back through this big door. And Sarah got done, and as she walked up behind me, she goes, I went overboard. I couldn't choose. Oh my gosh. I see, what is that, sausage? Yeah, jalapeno cheddar. This is brisket, chopped brisket. This is pastrami <laughs> and Fritos. This is a pork sandwich. And all the sauces. Literally, Sarah, I said, Sarah, I trust you what you should get. And she goes, well, I think I'm just gonna get one thing to share since that's what we've been doing. And I was like, I trust you to get what we need. Oh, James, look at all this food. Already chowing down. James needs to eat a piece of bread, but he did have some of the, what was that? Brisket? He already had some of the brisket. I didn't even try this sauce. What do you think? Delicious? This is what I was most excited for. This is the I love The sausage. It's so sad. It's so sad. So good. Sarah, 
reinforced a tried and true fact about the city of Chicago just now. You never, ever, 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 ever regret spending your money on any food in Chicago because it is always drop dead delicious and worth it. I don't even have buyers for more. And I usually have buyers for more. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and he liked it at all. <laughs> yeah, you did. The watermelon salad, the sausage, the brisket, the bread, the nachos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sausage dance, sausage dance. Oh, 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 oh. All done. Good job. Done? Yeah. Well, Green Street, smoked meats, you are absolutely divine. And great atmosphere. I can't come back and try the Italian tavern. Um, delicious. With very full bellies, we are going back to our car. I feel like it's the perfect distance walk back. Yeah. Feel good. And then we're gonna go home and I have to edit still. And we both have to pee. Yeah. And there was a bathroom there. I think there's like a hundred of them between where we left <laughs> and our car. A hundred? Probably. Now we got back in the car. We're going back home. Successful afternoon. This place is called the Silver Palm. Look, it's an old CTA train as part of the restaurant. What is this? This is Milwaukee in Chicago. Cool. I have no idea what kind of food it is. Boom, chicka boom, boom, chicka boom, boom, chicka boom, 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 boom. It's the perfect coat. James is, or Teddy's giving you a weird look in the corner. Oh, no. Who remembers our monthly recap videos that I adored and lived for? So did Sarah, but they were like a lot of stress. No, it's just, they take time, but they're worth it. Yeah. What if I start doing them? And we bring them back and since Sarah edits the daily. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Such good times. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Still watching recap videos. Oh, hey, Dustin. Back on another walk to James's favorite place, Jewel. What? Did we pick up for you? Pumpkin Reese's. It's a Halloween time. Forget oh about summer! <laughs> I mean, we can celebrate Halloween and it be hot out like we do when we're in Florida. Exactly, so we're gonna put Hocus Pocus after some time watching Bluey. Look at the napping snoozer timer. Is this Teddy or is this James? Put a comment down below. Did I give birth twice to the same child? You did. That's what happens to IVF. Weird stuff like this happens. But Teddy. Teddy was an IVF. It was just one of the other transfers stuck in your body, sneaking around until. Sneaking around, <laughs> he's like, oh, oh, here comes the beast. Uh oh. Um, he was like in my spleen. Yeah, just waiting for his turn. Um, oh, and they got please me. Don't a, step on the baby. A polar pop. He has a soft spot still. Soft spots are like the most scariest thing in the whole world. I know. <laughs> I have an irrational fear. <laughs> this is melting. Can because you eat, why don't you eat it? Jamesy. <laughs> Where's Jamesy? Oh, Jamesy. <laughs> oh, no. Kind of got some Sunday-itis going on. I do. I don't even have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> um, I don't. You don't? Um, we're getting Jamesy's mattress back together. We did do something exciting tonight. You want to say it? Oh. Oh. About the thing that's getting delivered? Yeah. So we decided we're going to do a no spend August. So like just buy like the necessities, food, gas, other things we would spend money on are like bills <laughs> like every like just start our, our normal bills and then 
very minimal thing, which is hard. It's our wedding anniversary. We're gonna cook at home. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had to make a purchase. <laughs> we made one of two purchases so far. We had to make another purchase tonight. <laughs> um, one, the one we made is a Peloton. We bought a Peloton. It's gonna go in our kitchen. Her fitness and that is gonna be my new source of fitness. Um, Peter can use it too. Oh, Teddy hasn't been able to take his eyes off of Peter's today. Okay, creepy dad. The other thing we're gonna buy is a camera because we just, we don't think that our M50 is returning to us. Um, but what we're gonna do is not get another M50. We're gonna get a smaller, like point and shoot situation, kind of like our G7X that we used to vlog on. We might, we have the rest of the night to figure it out. Um, but we've been meaning to get a smaller camera for cases where Peter and I aren't in the same place and we want to not just vo like vlog on the phone. So, um, and sometimes you just kind of need a little point and shoot thing. So we've been meaning to get one. So we're going to buy that first and then save up for a bigger camera that can house our nicer lenses and all of that. But the Peloton has been purchased. Evie is done for the day, and so are we. You need a you need a haircut, little girl. What another fun weekend with fun. A lot of the times they go by fast, um, but today was actually great. The the time we got to spend in the evening at home um, was perfect. Such a good weekend. Thanks for coming along. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>